A large language model is a type of AI model that is trained on vast amounts of text data to generate language understanding and generation capabilities, enabling tasks like text completion, question answering, and chatbots. Building an LLM from scratch is challenging because it requires a massive amount of high-quality training data, significant computational resources, and expertise in deep learning and natural language processing. Additionally, designing an LLM architecture, hyperparameter tuning, and ensuring the model is safe, ethical, and generalizable to diverse tasks and domains all pose complex technical and engineering challenges, making it a real daunting task for even experienced researchers and developers. In this video, I am going to go and shed light on some of the elements required to build LLMs. This is not a technical discussion and I'm not going to show you any code, but rather we will discuss it at a high level as what exactly is required in order to build a large language model from scratch. First and foremost is the data. Building an LLM requires huge humongous amount of data and high quality diverse and relevant text data for training. We also need to have data pre-processing, pipeline, and cleaning to ensure consistency and accuracy. Another thing which needed around data is data augmentation techniques to increase data set size and variability. Scale is the key here. Then we have compute. We definitely need powerful computational resources such as high performance GPUs or TPUs. We also need distributed computing architecture to speed up training and processing. Also, we would need efficient algorithms and optimization techniques to maximize compute resources. For instance, if you look at Llama 3 and if you check out the Meta's website, you would see that their largest model which they are still training exceeds 400 billion parameter and it is demanding more and more infrastructure around all of that training. And for example, they, it requires 16,000 GPUs to get it trained, and that is huge. Now, after the compute, um, you would definitely need infrastructure around it. So you would need scalable and reliable storage solutions for massive data sets and checkpoints. You would need high-speed networking and data transfer infrastructure. You would also need specialized hardware and software for LLM specific tasks such as GPU acceleration. Then of course, you would need some sort of base models or advanced deep learning architecture such as transformer based models. You would also need to make sure that you understand all the hyperparameters because you would need to tune them and optimize them as per your own model architecture. And of course, for all those performance optimization, generalization, and robustness, you would need to come up with innovative techniques because this field is still evolving. And if you are training a huge model, you might have to innovate something. Then comes the inference. Efficient al algorithms and techniques for deploying and serving LLMs is the key here. Otherwise, all the effort would go to waste. You would need to optimize your model for inference, such as quantization and pruning but not if you have produced a huge model even 8 billion or uh, uh, you know 13 billion model not everyone can run it so you would need to ensure that you enable quantization and it would be really good if you also pro pro um, provide those quads hardware acceleration and specialized chips for fast inference for a huge workload is always welcome and then comes the safety, which is really important. Robustness, safety, and security measures to pr prevent misuse and bias is key. Ethical considerations and guidelines for LLM development and deployment should be a pre-thought, not an afterthought. You should also make sure that you continuously monitor and test for any potential safety issues. I cannot stress enough that how much important evaluation is. It requires a rigorous testing and evaluation protocols for LLM performance and safety. Standardized benchmarks and metrics for comparing LLM is extremely important. I, I just did a video today where I use Prometheus Eval to compare the LLMs and there are heaps of other 
stuff available online for free and also for the paid options. The thing is that you would need to do continuous assessment and improvement of large language models through feedback and iteration. One of the key things is human talent. You would need experienced researchers and engineers in NLP, deep learning and software development. You would also need interdisciplinary teams with expertise in linguistics, ethics and domain specific knowledge. You would also need to have collaborative and innovative culture to drive progress and innovation. Then you would need to make thoughtful investment. So it would, should be strategic investment in LLM research and development. And you have to have long term commitment to advance LLM capabilities and safety. Responsible allocation of resources to ensure ethical and socially beneficial application is key here. So these are few of the elements which you need to uh, build an LLM from scratch. And this list is a very high level. Of course, there are a lot of things which go in it. There is a lot of uh, pain. It's not a simple process. It's quite an expensive exercise. But if you are um, going about starting your LLM building journey, these are the foundation steps which you need to take in perspective. If you have any other thought, please, please share it in the comments because this is a mutual uh, learning journey. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.